Welcome back to another video of Manchester City have beaten Tottenham Hotspur last night which leaves Tottenham still in fifth with that game in hand um, and puts the pressure on Arsenal with Man City. The weekend's fixtures are coming up, I'll be doing my predictions tomorrow in my 60 second predictions so if you like this video subscribe for more, like the video if you did like it, if you don't tell me why you didn't like it and I can try and improve them for you but um, no, t tell me your thoughts on today's topics in the uh, comments down below. Today we're going to be talking about what is wrong with Spurs. Is Conte still an elite coach? Um, there's no doubt he was an elite coach and probably the best in the world. But has he dropped off? Has he lost his mentality? And, you know, is, is it the players' fault for Tottenham's, not decline, but for the um, poor form, you know, the, the poor results for, for Tottenham? Or is it actually the board's fault or Conte's fault? Uh, Conte for not coaching the players properly. The players for not putting the effort in or just you know, producing uh, good performances, or is it the board's fault for not backing Conte or the previous managers? Let me know in the comments down below. So we'll start off with Conte then, obviously he's a, he's a defensive coach, they've had a couple of defensive managers in the last few seasons, three or four seasons, they've had Mourinho, um, they, they had um, that Wolves manager, Nuno Espirito Santos, and now they've gone with Conte because they, they want to win a league, they want to win trophies and they, they're doing it the ugly way. Because, um, you know, they looked at Poch and previous managers, they've appeared too nice. Um, and, you, you know, they, they played good football and they're an, atta an attractive team. But they haven't been getting the results to get them, you know, to win a trophy. I mean, Poch took them to a Champions League final. I think it, well, yeah, it was the, um, no, they, they got to final under Mourinho and sacked him, didn't they? And that was another stupid decision. Um, so, we know Conte is capabilities is a defensive coach um, but the problem is he's a defensive coach with a bad defence you've got Eric Dyer in there, you've got Longley in there, Emerson Royale uh, Sessegnon, Perisic, Doherty um, you, you've got some really terrible defenders Ben Davis, you know, his legs are going and the, but they've got Christian Romero who I think is probably an elite centre back the, the only elite centre defender they've got Perisic maybe, um, but still he ain't a defensive minded player. So when you look at that defence and Lloris in goal who's making mistakes every game he plays at the minute, you look at that Tottenham team and you go right well they've got a defensive coach who wins trophies and build, builds around his defence, but they haven't got a good defence. Um, he, he he, he's got better players in the forward area than his defence. He should be getting more out of Kulosevsky, Son, Kane and Richarlison. Um, it was a bit unfortunate that um, Kulosevsky and Richarlison were out at the same time and Son has been on bad form. Um, but then you can make another argument, but, well, you look at managers towards the bottom end of a table. Sean Dyche has done it for a long time, a defensive-minded coach. You know, your Neil Warnock's, your Sam Allardyce's, your David Moyes. You know, they haven't got these the players that these top managers have, like a Mourinho and a Conte. But when you see these defensive ma managers struggling to get results, you go right. Well, we're not playing well, but we're, we're not. We're, they're not getting the results, and that's what's supposed to be here to do. He should be getting more out of the team, but you could say, well, he is. They, they shouldn't be fifth. They shouldn't be challenging for a Champions League with that team, with that defence. They probably shouldn't be. But then you look at the attack, and they they've got to be doing more. I mean, Kane's got four, 15 goals this season, which is. A really good return because he ain't getting any chances. Um, Son's been out of form, and I think uh, don't quote me on this, but I think Kulosevsky's got seven assists in five. It's some stupid. He's got more assists than games played anyway. Um, so you could say, well, he is. He's just been unfortunate with injuries in the forward line, and Son's you know poor form. So then you know you, you go right. Well, obviously the players aren't doing well enough. Um, so you know is it on them? Uh, Luis is making mistakes, like I said, they need a goalkeeper, that's where the board come into it, they're not backing him, um, they, they, they've made no signings in January so far, they need a right back, two centre backs, a goalkeeper, a left back and a left winger, I mean left back and left winger, you know, it's not priority, but they need four players to come in to get top four, I feel, because you've got Chelsea who are strengthening, you've got Liverpool who it were only halfway through the season and Liverpool could go on a, a massive winning run like they have done for the last few seasons um, in the second half of the season to come alive. So they've got a chance of coming back into it. So you could be looking at the table 
and Spurs could end up finishing seventh after being top four for um, what the, the first fourteen games or so was it? Um, but they're on a poor run of form. The fifth five points off fourth with thirty three points, which isn't bad. But they've had four points from five. They've had six defeats in ten, winning three of those games. So they're on a poor run of form. They barely beat the top teams, um, and and that's what Conte is coming to do to get the team organised against um, the bigger teams and to get results against them. He ain't got the results, but he's got them organised. It was a better performance last night. Um, but like I say, individual errors and you know Spurs doing Spurs things, bottling it. Um, you know, has Conte got the mentality, or is it the players who ain't got the mentality? I'm seeing Conte on that touchline and in the press conferences. And I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, are you someone who wants this job? Do you want to manage Tottenham? Because um, he actually said, when asked about his future, whether him being a short-term manager or a long-term manager, he said, I don't want to answer. And that was basically the end of it. Obviously, he talked about the board have to be more involved in interviews and, and com press conferences like the managers do and um, other staff members of, of the club. Um, which I do agree with. I think you know, owners and CEOs and um, you know, f you know, um, physios. Um, they they need to do more. You know, updating the fans and and not only the fans, the the media, but I think you know the club need to be communicating to fans better. You know, there's there's too there ain't enough coming through fan forums or like I say press conferences. So I think he's like right with that. Um, but, you know, I, I think he, he can't just avoid questions. And I look at him on the touchline, he doesn't look as aggressive and passionate as he was in his previous jobs. And he said, I'm putting as much effort into it, uh, you know, as anyone else would. But I, I don't think he is. I think he's stepped off a bit. So that begs the question, is he still an elite coach? I think he's coached Tottenham into doing the best he can defensively because there's, like I say, individual errors cost them the last couple of games. But they do have to be a bit more on the front foot. They were against Man City, to be fair. They were 2 0 up. But he needs to be backed. Um, on Levy and the board, a lot of Tottenham fans think he's the problem. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But in the, in, in this season, um, this, they've spent £169 million on players in this January transfer window. Um, Jed Spence, Perisic, um, Romero, I think he cost £50 million. With Charleston were about sixty million. It's they, they backed him to to an extent, but again it, they they not backed him with getting the right players in, and they've overpaid for quite a few. And um, they've made thirty eight point seven five million on transfers out. Twenty one twenty two season last season they spent ninety five million, um, and gained thirty four point six two million from transfers out. Um, twenty twenty one season one hundred ten million pounds spent. 13.30 million out. Um, in 1920, 148.5 million spent, 64.50 million out. Um, and then 1819 season didn't spend a penny on um, on signings and they made 5.35 million from transfers out. So the spending money, to an extent, um, I, I don't I don't think if I compare that to Man United with the Glazers. If I compared that to Man City, if I compared it to the other big six teams, they have backed their managers more than Tottenham have. And this January window's shown it. They've bought in no one. And like I said, they need a right back, two centre backs, a goalkeeper, they're the priorities. And they need a left back and a left winger to, to get that competition and that depth in. The big question is does Conte want to commit to a future? The, the, there's no structure in the club anyway, I don't believe. And I'm looking at the fans, they're unsure on the future. You know, they've got some big players who could leave in the summer because they don't know what the manager's, you know, intentions are. And I don't think Conte knows what his intentions are. I think he came in and we're probably thinking it might be a bit of an easy ride. I can get them in the top four and maybe win an FA Cup or Carabao Cup. And it hasn't proven to be the case. And they're going to struggle to get in the top six this season. The, the form sliding away. Is Conte sackable at the moment? If, if I think by March, we'll see. He, he might be gone, but I don't think I don't think Tottenham would get rid of him. I think Conte is is bigger than the the, the owners. I think, um, and I, I think he'll have the say in his future at the end of the season. But you know, w w would he stay? He's a short term manager, 
but he looks to want to relish the challenge, I think he should. And if he don't, then I think other owners of, around the world should be questioning um, you know, him as a manager now because it's, you know, it, it's a challenge, isn't it? But from an outsider, it is good to see you know, your con is in, in the Premier League. You know, you see your Klops, your Peps, your uh, Arteta's, your Ten Hag's, your Eddie Howe's, your Potter's. All these managers, all of them are different. Many similarities, but a lot of differences. And it's interesting to see, you know, how Kant is doing with, with defence-minded. Um, how you've got Klopp, who's very attack-minded. You've got Eddie Howe, um, you know, and Potter who are English and have the differences as well. Um, but I, I think all of them are to blame. I think Conte can be doing better with the players he's got, but he should be backed by the board to bring in some better players. Like I say, there's too many players who are letting him down, but it, you, you know, you've got to do better with what you've got. But you know, if they did get rid of Conte, who would they get in? I don't think there's anyone better who they would get in at this current time um, who, who would do better than him. You know, fifth isn't too bad with that team, really. Um, and he's got them kind of competitive against the bigger teams he need to improve but it's only his first full season so I'm, I'm saying you should back Potter you know you should back David Moyes um, I think they can turn it around same with Brendan Rodgers I'm saying you should be backing managers and it won't be right for me to say well Conte's you know should be sacked but really he's bringing it on himself because he ain't committing on his future um, and I think that's, that's he's bringing pressure on him by doing that um, so Personally, I think it's, it's his fault. He should be getting better with the players he's got. But if he does want to commit long-term, I think he should be saying it now to ease the pressure off him, let the fans know and the club know what his intentions are um, for him to be given more time and trust. He needs um, you know, backing by the board because the signings that have come in, you know, they haven't been good enough and he haven't been backed enough, I don't think. I know £169 million spent is a fair bit of money, but it's been spent in the wrong areas, and that Tottenham team to get in the top four now, you know they have to improve that defence because it is woeful. I mean, at the minute they would be better off bringing Joe Hart back from a uh, Celtic. Um, you know, look, Lu is making that many mistakes. So then you've got to throw on the players as well. They're making individual mistakes. You can only coach them to a certain um, extent, um, and I think their mentalities have to be tested just as much as Conte's. So let me know if you're a Spurs fan and let me know your thoughts on Conte, the board, the players, who's at fault um, for the you know the results they've had. Six uh, defeats in ten, three wins in that run, and you know I, I, they've been struggling against the big six and not really been competitive against them. They're still in the Champions League only just. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Tottenham do towards the back end. I think they lost uh, to Notts Forest, Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup as well. Um, so the, I think they're still in the FA Cup and the Champions League they're the only route to trophy success this season they brought him in to win trophies it ain't looking like he's going to do it this season but uh, let me know where the you know the, the results and the poor form lies with you I, have you had enough of Conte? let me know in the comments down below have a good one